Good morning. Today I'm going to pack up the tent. I'm going to visit the Roman ruins at Volubilis and then make my way down to Fez. And we're off. All my kits charged up. Tent all packed up. Chef Shaun was interesting. Tonight I'm going to be in Fez, but uh, I have a detour planned along the way. You know me by now. There are actually some Roman ruins in Morocco, the town of Volubilis. And I'm hoping I can fit in a visit there on my way to Fez. So that's my plan, I'm away relatively early, 8.30 in the morning. Aiming to get an hour or so wandering around Volubilis before heading over to Fez. <coughs> Making my way through the outskirts of Chechuan now. <laughs> Garmin gets very confused in little towns like this. It can't really tell What's a road, what's a footpath, what's a flight of steps? Takes me around in circles, but eventually we find an actual road that actually goes somewhere. issue with a loose wire somewhere. I can plug it in and charge it from the USB socket if I need to, so I'll just have to keep an eye on that. little town looks like maybe it's market day or maybe it's a town that's always this busy who can say certainly a big market it's a change of scenery I come out of the foothills of the mountains a high plain, high plateau. I'd read that uh, the city of Volubilis is on, is on this horizontal plain somewhere, so uh, we can't be far away now. We have to police checkpoint. It's actually my third one on this little uh, journey. They just, so far, have just waved me through. Same again here. I'm just checking people's papers by the looks of it.
Well, we've arrived here in Volubilis. It's quite a popular attraction. They run tours here from fairs and from Meknes. So let's go and see what we've got. It's quite amazing, really, to find a Roman city right here in the middle of Morocco. Incredible that they came this far. It's quite amazing how a single culture, the Romans, could be so similar right across such a vast empire. I think my first target is going to be up on the top of the hill. Volubilis was fun, but too hot now, so I'm going to go and find my accommodation in Fez. Right, time to go and find my Riyadh. It's getting quite warm now. Tigger says 25 degrees. There's a hopeful guy hanging about there, wearing an old fluorescent jacket, claiming to be a car park attendant and wanting money. Right, we're parking. Parking? Yeah. What? Money? Yeah. Uh, but I just said no. And the police just stand there and watch him. <laughs> oh, find out, donkey. Looks a little bit overladen. Rather like Tigger. roads. They look like nice tarmac roads, but they're full of hidden dips and hollows and lumps and bumps, which really play havoc with your suspension. Sometimes it's good to follow locals because you'll see them swap onto the wrong side of the road suddenly for no apparent reason, but what they're doing is they're actually avoiding the worst problems on the road. Fortunately, Garmin seems to have fixed itself. It hasn't, the uh, screen hasn't gone blank for a couple of hours now. And strangely, the fuel range seems much better as well. We'll just flick that across. Yeah, uh, Tigger's, Tigger's suggesting I've got 450 mile range out of this tank. The first tank I put in after I had the new tyres only lasted me 300 kilometres. I don't know why. Whether the tyres have bedded in or whether some other problem has resolved itself, I don't know. But uh, a 450 kilometre tank range is as good as I could hope for. So let's hope that that stays like that as well. Outskirts of Fez now, I think. Okay, so the hotel is sending someone to get me, and here he is, it's Radwan. Fantastic. Show me where to put Tigger.
we? Well, I'm here. Uh, in the centre of Fez. And that over there is the ancient town of Fez inside the wall. Obviously I'm going to go and explore it, but first I need to cool off. It's quite a trek between where Tigger is parked and here. I had to carry all the bags. I could have left the panniers on Tigger, but uh, it didn't seem like a good idea. So carrying them here and right the way up to the top of the building is quite hard work. But anyway, I'm here for two nights. It looks very comfortable, includes free breakfast and costs very little money. So entering into Fez Medina, that's the Bab Baluj gate we're just going through. And into the Casbah. So the trick now is, can I find my way back to my hotel? And that's not easy. After another day in Fez, I'm back up here on my roof terrace. I've just done a nice sketch, which I will show you. Katia, the hostess here, has offered to cook me dinner tonight. She said she does a nice beef tagine, so that's me sorted for tonight. Then I'll get my stuff packed up, and tomorrow morning we're heading south again. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.